Football season about to wrap up. A lot of Central Texans turning their sports focus to hockey. We brought in Texas Stars captain Max Fortunas to talk about his sports growth here in the Austin area and a couple of his recent personal milestones. Only player on the squad that's played in every one of the 60 playoff games. I think that's pretty cool. And the new milestone. Played your 800th game as a pro yeah. just recently. What does it take? First of all, congrats for surviving that. Thank what you. does it take mentally and physically and emotionally to reach that kind of milestone? <laughs> like, like one of our players says, it's a grind. For sure, it's a grind. Yeah. It's, uh, but you know, it's it's fun. We 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 love the game so much. If we didn't love it that much, we wouldn't be doing it. And you know, I think you, you have to have have that in your mind, the, the the will to always push it and want want to make it to the next level. Yeah. Every day you got to push for it and. Uh, I think that's what kept me going over the years. Yeah, and you've had your taste uh, of the NHL, but I think it's cool you've yet to have that taste of an AHL All-Star <laughs> game, yet here you are selected for the first time and as captain of the West. How special is that? It was a, It's amazing. It was for me, it was a tremendous honor. I was, uh, I was pretty happy when the commissioner uh, of the league, Dave Andrews, called me. Um, I was actually sleeping when he called me, so I was kind of <laughs> woozy when I was, when I was telling him thanks. I had to call him back a couple days later to tell him that uh, I was really appreciative of it. And I, uh, you know, it was for me, it was a great honor. So, uh, you know, all the, the years of effort, I, you know, I put into if I finally get rewarded like this is, uh, is, is pretty cool. This whole experience, you've been here from the ground up um, in Cedar Park, making the Texas Stars what they are. Have you felt from your perspective, you're a hockey guy from Canada, have you felt that Central Texas is starting to get it? Is the culture starting to take root a little bit here? Yeah, for sure I have. Uh, I remember coming coming in uh, six, six years ago, uh, a lot of the players on the team, including myself, we yeah. were, weren't really sure what to expect about hockey in Texas. Sure. Um, you know, I played in Houston before, so I kind of knew how it was over there, but I really wasn't sure how Austin was going to be, uh, mm -hmm. was going to react uh, to having hockey. So, But I think all the guys, right from day one, really, really, the guys, all the guys were really surprised. I think we have some of the best fans in the league. Um, and that's coming from a guy who's been around, I guess, right. and, and who, who knows about it. So, uh, yeah, our fans have been amazing. They've been supportive all over the years. And um, we're a Texas team. You know, Texas teams, the Texas fans love their, their, their winning Texas team. So oh, yeah. um, that's what we're trying to do every day is, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to become, a, you know, a dynasty in the league and have that, uh, that winning mentality every day as soon as we step on the ice. A Canadian setting his roots down and... Cedar Park, Austin area. Pretty cool. Seems like a good guy. Real good guy. Thank you. We'll be right back.